I'm just uh, excited about what the fans are going to see. And I don't know that enough of them understand what they could miss if they don't watch this event. I, that motivates me as a broadcaster. Right. I, does it motivate you as a wrestler? In every single way. In every fiber of my being, in every, like, molecule in my body, I am beyond motivated. Tagging with and going against legends last year at All In and losing to going all the way to main eventing this year, it means the world to me. And that path truly changed me as an individual. You've done some controversial things. For sure. Are you, you feel have any remorse over those or you, did you do it just because that's what I had to do? Once again, like I said, you knock on the door long enough and they don't allow you in, you got to make noise. I got you. And if you make Understood. enough noise, people will listen finally. Have you sat back and thought about how violent and, and punishing Brian Danielson is? And I think people are taking away how physical this match is going to really be. I agree yeah. 100%. <laughs> like, I was sitting back on my couch watching Brian Danielson kick people's teeth out. Yeah. Literally, on camera. Like, I know what he has left in him. And that's why he's fighting as hard as he is. Especially against me. He knows how hard he has to fight against me. He's wrestling this match as if it is his last one. It could be. But he's, he's talking like this is it. Win, lose, or draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a, before he even gets to the AEW World Championship, if that wasn't enough of a prize and a motivator for Brian, now it's about legacy. Legacy is what's on the line. And he's running to a crossroads from the simple fact that who is he without any of this? He needs something to get up in the morning and fight for. And without it, who is he? If I was in the same situation as him and the roles were reversed, would he give a damn about me? Would anybody in this roster give a damn? that I was going to be on my way out. Let me say this, they shouldn't. They shouldn't, so why should I? That's right. I'm in the position, I'm in the driver's seat now. I control the narrative. I control the fate. I control this company now at this point. That's what worries people, and that's what worries people about me holding this. And it should worry Brian as well, because mm, do I really care about him being a father? No. Do I really care about him being a parent and coming home to Brie and all this other stuff, not really. I believe this is going to be the toughest match you've ever had. Knowing... Why? Now, why do you believe that? What makes you think that? What happens when his body gives out on him? How does he defend himself? What if the nerves in his arm just don't work anymore? His neck <laughs> seizes on him. Everybody always talks about what they're gonna do to inflict pain on somebody else. That's what makes them so good. That's what makes them dangerous. What do you do when none of that works because you can't work? Yeah. Well, you know he's gonna be hard to beat. Well. Can you beat Brian Danielson at Wembley Stadium? Not only can I beat Brian Danielson, I will beat Brian Danielson in Wembley Stadium and then his legacy belongs to me now.